Howdy shop warriors, this is my 2005 Suburban. I just picked up this second row seat from a Junkyard, a salvage yard they call them these days. And uh, I'm going to show you how to take out, so I'm, I'm taking out two bucket seats and I'm putting in a second row bench, the 60-40 split bench that I picked up. Uh, so most of the people, most of the videos that I've seen are going the other way around pulling out a bench and putting in buckets but I have four children and a lot of them in car seats three of them in car seats so uh, the bench is helpful for us to give us more seating so let me just talk through some of the tools and how to get out the seats I've already got them out here let me uh yeah, there we go here let me switch the view around all right so looking here in the second row I've already removed the two bucket seats. I just want to talk through uh, how that process went. So there's four bolts, four for one seat, four bolts for the other seat. And the trickiest thing really was pulling off these plastic pieces. Uh, there's a plastic piece covering this. When you pull it off, there's this guy. This is inside here and this metal thing just basically gets caught on the ridges of the bolt. So the only way I found to pry it off was just with a good old giant screwdriver. I also found this guy helpful to get a bit, little bit of leverage and just try my best not to damage them. I did a little bit of damage here. So if, if the plastic piece is here, I'd recommend trying not to pry from this side because you'll see it if you damage it, but try from this side or this side if possible. That way the damage will be hidden as much as you can. So pulling these guys off um, was probably the hardest part, but otherwise it's fairly easy. You can slide the seats lift up the seat and move around in different arrangements to get access to the different bolts. And once you do that, I just use this three quarter inch. Uh, it is, let me make sure, I think that's three quarter. Yeah, three quarter inch uh, deep socket. The bolts are a little long. I found my shallow ones didn't work. So a deep socket, three quarter inch. And once you pull off the plastic, hit the four bolts. It's pretty, pretty quick and easy. So now I'm gonna put the bench in and hope that all the bolt patterns for this are the same. I've uh, been told they are, but we'll, we'll slide it over here on these bolts and we'll find out here in just a minute. And voila! <laughs> just move the second seat in. It does in fact fit. The bolt pattern is exactly, let's see if we can show it. Yep, uh, that one's hiding. Uh, here. Um, yeah, all the way across though, the bolts fit perfectly from going from buckets to the bench. So that's nice. It did take a Take a bit of finagling to kind of get it to settle in right, but it does fit. So now I'm just taking the three quarter inch and uh, driving down all the nuts. Really not too bad. The hardest part was uh, getting those plastic things off and then getting the seat in. I uh, We just came in through the side door here on the passenger side. Probably would be equally fine on the other side, but uh, I don't think it would fit coming from the back. So we just went straight through the side. We did scuff up the door just a little bit so definitely be careful the the metal parts down there are sharp if you really want to be careful probably wrap those uh, like this part here that'll be sticking out wrap that in a towel or something and duct tape around it to make sure you don't scrape your door on the way in otherwise not too bad all right hope you found that helpful be sure and like the video if you uh, if you found it good and subscribe Got a lot more 2005 Suburban videos coming soon as I make changes and do upgrades. All right, thanks everybody.